Hello and welcome once again. Today we are going to do the review of Practical Network Penetration Tester Certification also known as the PNPT by the TCM Security. So in this video we are going to cover why did I choose PNPT, how was my exam experience, how can you pass PNPT and finally should you take PNPT or not. So why did I choose the PNPT certification? Uh, from the price point of view, this certification is like very, very reasonable. Without training material, they are offering for it like $299. And occasionally, they have promo codes and discounts available. And I was lucky to grab the 10% discount. So I got this certification for like $269 without the training material. Since I already had the training content with me with uh, in another giveaway, so I opted for this uh, $299 model without training. But if you don't have this, uh, their course material, I recommend before getting into this exam, make sure you have gone through their material. Another good thing about this exam is like they are giving one free retake. Uh, I am not going to name other certifications that are charging like hundreds of dollars for a retake. So this is a, again a plus point about TCM security and their PNPT exam. The exam focuses on OS and Windows and Active Directory. And again, for this price, I don't think that there is any certification out that teaches and tests your these skills. Finally, Heath Adams and TCM security has some great content out, not only on their website, but also on the YouTube for general public. So make sure you support them and PNPT is making its way. I mean, I have seen a lot of companies which are adopting PNPT and posting in their like job descriptions. So this is again a great good thing about this certification. So for preparation, I went through the practical ethical hacking, the complete course. I did the active directory part since uh, I didn't have any Active Directory experience prior. I made my own Active Directory lab environment in my local network and just followed the lectures and videos and how TCM security is doing Active Directory attacks. And I have some good amount of experience from the One Hub and PG practice. So make sure you have a cheat sheet already prepared with for you. Uh, while I was doing the labs and whenever I do One Hub, I have a cheat sheet with me, a lot of commands that I don't need to remember. I just copy and paste. So about the exam, exam is like seven days long, five days for the assessment and two days for the report writing. Uh, this attack, uh, this exam basically tests your open intelligence skills or OS int and how to attack a network and you have to do active directory exploitations, uh, AV and egress bypassing, uh, network movements, latent and vertical, uh, which is a bit challenging, but at the same time, it's really fun. And finally, you have to compromise the domain controller and then you have to make a report, submit the report. And finally, you have a debriefing with the TCM team where you have to tell what you did, how you did and uh, other things which you have performed. So I started my exam on like 9th of October. It was Saturday, 9 in the morning. And I completed my exam on like 13th October. Uh, so not only I was able to compromise the DC, but I was able also able to make a report like, like five days. On an average, I was putting like six to eight hours daily. And although I have a good amount of experience, but I was stuck multiple times. I mean, like two of the times I was like really stuck but I got lucky and I was able to compromise the DC in the end. I think the OS end part is the most fun part. Uh, you will, you are going to see a number of anecdotes in the exam, which basically make the exam environment overall amusing. And the environment uh, was very stable. I mean, the VPN connection, there were, there were no lags in the VPN and other services. And I only faced once an issue and the TCM security was able to respond that issue in like very short amount of time or in, in very short amount of time. So kudos to them. And here is a glimpse of my report. You can see that my report is like 51 pages long. I had 
almost like 70 plus screenshots um, this may depend on your report writing and the number of detail you want to share but again i wanted to make a very detailed report so it got like 51 pages and once you submit your report you will have um, invite of the debriefing where you are going to have a google meet session of 15 minutes uh, where you are going to describe how did you manage to compromise the domain controller what were your steps what what are the remediations etc etc and i made this uh, presentation which again had the screenshots from the my report uh, you can show your report but um, i think that this presentation is a bit precise than the report so i showed this report in my deep briefing and once i was done uh, the tcm security team told me that you have passed this exam and i got my certificate right away in my email so this is my review of pnpt please bear in mind that i have some experience uh, from the one half pg practice industry and i have already done the ecppt and cisp so based on my experience again this is a subjective thing uh, i think the difficulty is like six or maybe like six and a half out of ten this exam is challenging but not very challenging or very hard uh, but from the quality of the exam from the perspective of quality this is very top notch i mean like straight nine out of ten and this exam is like very close to real world engagement i mean this is not like a ctf based exam where things are very cryptic so this is a very real world type exam or scenario so how to pass pnpt uh, make sure you know what os int is or how to do os int um, pcm security has a course on os int which is again a wonderful course uh, make sure you know what network pivoting is uh, if you don't know network pivoting i mean you are going to have a very hard time uh, passing or getting in this exam uh, also make sure you have uh, understanding of both the linux and windows based operating systems and what are the common services running on these boxes of course active directory is the key thing so make sure you know active directory you don't need to know active directory in very detail but still uh, some understanding of active directory is required and finally uh, the key thing to pass this exam is going to be a bit of out of the box thinking which is required in real world engagements also so here here are my pro tips for passing this exam uh, first thing is make sure you have a nice cheat sheet with you before you start this exam uh, make sure you have the snapshots of the vm uh, my kali basically got corrupted due to a power outage but i had a number of backups with me so i got lucky similarly have backups of your screenshots and reports i basically put all my backups on the google drive in case my original computer gets uh, some problem and take a lot of breaks i mean you don't need to rush and the seven days are a lot a lot for this exam so you don't need to rush i mean you can do this exam very smoothly and finally another good thing is like ecppt can complement this exam i mean the number of things which are covered in ecppt can help me a lot while doing this pnpt so if you are doing like pnpt first i would suggest doing ecppt because a lot of things covered in pnpt are going to help you in the ecppt exam in short these two exams complement each other so my final thoughts should you take pnpt i mean definitely yes this is a big yes you should take this exam if you are a beginner uh, beginner level penetration tester or this is your first certification i mean you are going to learn a lot if you if you fail you still have a free uh, one free reattempt so definitely take this exam if you are a seasoned penetration tester uh, i would still still say yes because of the active directory and os and part so finally if you uh, have any questions please ask in the comment section and if you liked this video please uh, subscribe my channel and i'll see you next time bye bye